one cog in a very, very large machine. The, to turn Dren into a character that we can really believe in requires literally hundreds of people. Creating the early stages of Dren, which is as, Dren is a baby, Dren is a toddler, and those are completely digital creations that are being done in France with a company called Bouffe. And then the other thing we're doing is Dren in her later stages when she's actually played by an actor, so her child stage and her adult stage, where she's being enhanced. And that's being done here in Toronto by a company called Core. The creature effects in Dren are uh, really groundbreaking. The design is incredibly uh, well thought out. In every frame where she is on the screen, uh, it is a digital effect. Uh, but I would be willing to bet that within about the first five minutes of seeing the creature, most people will forget that there's a digital effect in it, even though there's no way that this creature could exist without it. 95% of the shots in which you see a uh, child or adult Dren uh, would be a live actor with some sort of digital augmentation. The other 5% would be a complete digital Dren, and we needed those for some, some very specific action sequences. Child Dren is from the bridge of her nose up, a digital character. Around her whole head, the cheeks, the ears, the eyes, the cranium, everything is computer generated. But yet it has to match up perfectly with that nose and that mouth. To create a animated component to her body and marry it perfectly to her real body is an incredibly difficult thing to do. And also a highly experimental thing. We didn't know for sure that it was going to work. Some part of me thought, if they don't pull off this creature and the bar is so high on special effects now, people won't, you know, stick around to, to see the story we've told. And when I saw that those creatures were being fleshed in, as it were, uh, I was absolutely ecstatic. There's a lot of creatures on this show, and I was actually thinking about it yesterday. I mean, running through it, we have um, Dren embryo, which we find inside of the Betty. Then we have baby Dren. Then we have Toddler A, which is a smaller version of Toddler B. Then Toddler B, which is where these arms break out. We have um, Child Dren, which is played by Abigail, little Abigail. And then we go to um, Female Dren, which is played by Delphine. So yeah, there's quite a big evolution. There's like a Dren, Drenolution. We have Fred and Ginger, and there's, there's a baby version of Fred, and then an adult versions of, of uh, Fred and Ginger. When we were shooting with Sarah Polly, the uh, the toddler bee puppet where the arms burst out, it was really helping her too. We had the puppet and it was interacting with her and she would say, hey Howard, can you have the puppet do this and this and kind of cock its head, and, you know, and it just kind of helps me. I'm like, absolutely, that sounds great. And we do it and it just would help her that much more and it would be fun for us. Dren is definitely the ugly duckling, you know. I mean, she's basically a blob and then develops into beautiful, you know, Dren. Her makeup is very simplistic, but it took a while to get to that look. I mean, I did test after test after test, and it just wasn't clicking. There was just something missing. And then I brought Tammy Lane in, who uh, worked with me on Chronicles of Narnia and won the Oscar for that a lot as well as I did. And um, she just really made it click. Well, I think the big difference with what I was doing, I, I was really trying to match uh, more of a skin tone, make her feel a lot more natural and it just wasn't quite working for the look and then Tammy kind of came in and gave it like this, I don't know, it's almost like a shine, you know, like there's something ethereal about Dren. That's really what punched it up and, and Tammy's an a outstanding makeup artist through and through and really, um, really just brought that life, that extra like 10% I could, I was having trouble finding. I think Dren looks beautiful. I mean, she's a really great makeup.